What is up guys? I am recording this video. I am very happy to report that I have finished my computer science capstone C964 has been complete, which means I am done. I finished all, is this what, 10 or 11 classes from WGU. Uh, with a two and a half month pre-study, I was able to complete WGU in one term. This video isn't to actually cover the whole journey, but rather to simply just talk about the computer science capstone. I'll be making more videos in the future about the whole journey, more so about the individual classes as, as I go out and about and I reflect on the classes and whatnot, but I'm happy to report that I am officially done with WGU. Overall, let's talk about this capstone project. It was harder than expected, actually. I, I had a, a few problems specifically with making the project, finding the topic, and also implementing it on my device. I made another rookie mistake, tried to build on my Mac, tried to then make it work on Windows. It didn't work. Everyone, please remember that WGU is a Windows first com uh, college. So you have to first make sure it works on Windows. And I kept building everything Mac, my whole computer science journey, and it messed me up two times in the capstone and software too, completely messed me up. But nonetheless, I got it all figured out. So that was nice. There were lots, there was lots of writing and you have to make an ML model, which basically to not talk too much about it. I have seen some videos on YouTube talk about their project. I just don't know how much I'm allowed to say. Maybe one day I'll get more comfortable about it. But essentially you have to make a detection model using machine learning and whatnot. Uh, one video by a popular YouTuber showed how he essentially had a picture that det it detected whether pictures were not safe for work or not from uh, I think like 4chan or Reddit or something like that. And that's essentially what you have to make. You have to make something of that substance. Uh, as you can see here, I was able to finish the, I was able to do it in about a couple weeks. I probably started this on, you know, July, uh, you know, middle of June, and then it took me about two weeks to do it. There's two portions to it. There's the writing portion, and then there's the code portion, and you have to essentially do both. And I'll just give you my tips right here. You have to literally just choose a topic and start Googling how to build that. So what I would recommend, you're gonna set yourself up to make your life marginally easier if you build something that already exists. Don't try to make a new chat GDP. Don't try to detect whether an earthquake is coming. And don't try to detect, you know, build these crazy things. Try to detect whether your family member will come back angry or sad that day. Don't try to make something like that start with something simple one uh, if you look it up on reddit you can find certain ideas i would literally just look up ideas and then get inspiration from there i will say my detection model is something that has been built a hundred times it's be, it's been built by microsoft it's been built by google where it detects certain text I'll just say, I'll, I'll keep it vague. It, de it determines whether certain text is safe or not. And that's all, all it does. It's, it's super simple. I saw other people trying to make it, it will take a book title and it'll, it'll put what genre it's in. And it, 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 that's essentially what it does. So you just want to do little things like that. You could probably think of a number of other ideas. Uh, but like I said, you want to detect whether you want, sorry, you, you, you want to build something that already exists. The reason is if you get stuck, you can get inspiration, you, you don't have to get stopped. I'm not saying to copy other people's projects, but when some someone has already built out the, the $100 million version of it, when you're trying to build the dollar version of it, at least you have some place to look. You're not like, you can't really copy the $100 million version, but you can, cop you can make a $1 version of that, and that's essentially what you need to do. So that's all I have to share about that like there's really not much i can go without like breaking terms of service and whatnot i don't want to get in trouble i don't get my my degree revoked but after this i'm going to make a videos on a couple classes that i didn't really make full videos on the python class or the data structure algorithms class Blee software too i'm going to do like a few longer videos that are probably gonna be like similar to my journey video about either like the whole journey all the classes i took i'm going to do a review of the degree and then after this, I'm really just going to go on a leak code grind. I'm going to build projects on the side every day. I'm dedicating two hours a day to 
grind leak code and to build personal projects. I have a number of projects I built. So projects wise, I should be halfway okay, but leak code, I'm gonna do that. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to be starting a Twitter account and you can follow me there. I'm probably gonna be more frequently updating on there. So if you like Twitter, you can follow me on there. If not, just stay on here because I'm gonna still be posting videos on here. Not as frequently, but I certainly will be making videos. So if you wanna stay tuned for my journey about how I'm gonna become a full-fledged software engineer at ideally a big tech company, I will, I'm gonna be documenting this journey and I will ship, and after this, I'm gonna be talking about more so my future plans after I become a software engineer and whatnot. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.